Hey there friends, it's Paul and welcome to another video and today we will be customizing Derek. So the plan for this custom will be to give this Bakugan his anime colors by using the good old Gundam markers with a metallic finish. Derek is a Bakugan I've always enjoyed having in my collection. I think his design is really amazing and totally deserves to have a look that is accurate to the show. So yep, we will be painting him today. Okay, so for the colors, we will first be using the metallic green Gundam marker to repaint those main details around Derek's body. Next up, we will be using the metallic purple to paint in Derek's horns and claws. Then we will use the metallic yellow to paint in all those secondary details around this Bakugan's body. And finally, we will use the silver marker to paint in Derek's teeth and spikes on his wings. So first up we will start by repainting the outer details on Derek's wings with a metallic green Gundam marker. For this section I applied two different coats of paint. I believe in the recording you'll only be seeing the first one because I forgot to record the second one. On the first coat I used a super mini brush to cover the area by mainly applying light taps of paint. And afterwards I took a medium sized brush to give another coat, this time with the objective of making the shade of green here a bit darker. Next up we will continue by painting those inner details in the wing section with the same metallic green Gundam marker. And here I pretty much applied the same method as before. However here I applied an extra coat of paint using the medium sized brush since the details here were a bit bigger and needed more paint on them. This metallic green Gundam marker was relatively new in my mini collection of markers and for some reason was a bit of a lighter shade than the one I'm used to using. And I figured that if I applied some extra coats of paint, the color would change to a more darker one. And it worked, so that was a win right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but at certain times I messed up and got a bit of paint onto places where it didn't have to go. As I've said in other videos, when this happens and when you're only dealing with a bit of paint, you can quickly scratch it off using your fingernails. And when it's more paint, you can take a q-tip and with some rubbing alcohol to clean it off. In both cases, you have to be super super quick because these Gundam markers tend to dry and stick to surfaces really quickly. Next we painted the details on the front and back of Derek's neck and the technique here was to apply light taps of paint. Following this we painted the inner details of Derek's tail and here once again the light taps of paint method was the way to go with the help of the super mini small brush. Here I also used this super thin black permanent marker that blended really well with the color of the plastic to correct some of the mistakes I made in this area. Afterwards we painted the other side of the tail details, doing pretty much the same as on the other side and once again using the thin marker to correct any mistake made. And here a bit of an epic fail took place. As you can see here I was holding up the tail to paint in all the details and just as I finished and hit my phone's button to stop recording, my fingers slipped and the tail went down, touched my thumb, covered it with paint and yeah. The paint in this entire section got messed up, so I had to redo it afterwards. <laughs> it was pretty stressing.
Next we painted the green details on Derek's feet and there was no issue here. Next up, we continued the project by painting in all those secondary details on Derek's wings with the metallic yellow Gundam marker. And here the process was once again pretty much straightforward. Once again, we used a super mini brush and applied light taps of paint onto the various areas. I think I forgot to record this, but once I painted in all these details, I took the black marker I was previously using to paint around the outline of these areas to cover some of the missing original yellow paint that was left over. Here we painted those little details on Derek's back. And here I took my brush, covered it with paint and then pressed on the brush so that the paint would spread and cover the entirety of these details. Then we continued by painting Derek's horns with the metallic purple Gundam marker and I gotta say that this color was looking super vibrant on Derek. Up next we painted all the details that made up this Bakugan's claws. Here the key was to apply light taps of paint once again, but here since we are dealing with super small details, the best option is to only put a bit of paint on the brush, because if you put tons of paint and then apply light taps, the paint will get all over and we don't want that. Next we painted those details on the sides of Derek's face with the metallic purple Gundam marker and afterwards I took the silver marker to paint in Derek's teeth and those little spikes that this Bakugan has on his wings. I almost forgot to record this, but to finalize Derek's custom, we painted those other details on the other side of his wings with the metallic yellow. So here I was basically done painting Derek and was about to say the classic and this Derek custom is finally complete. But then I told myself, nope, we're not done with this custom. <laughs> So now to finalize this custom project, I also decided to repaint all the details of Derek's battle gear, Air Corps, to look like in the anime. Since the details of this battle gear are pretty big, I decided to use the metallic yellow Gundam marker directly on the surface of this gear to basically save up some time. And well, afterwards I painted in the green details, but this time using the medium sized brush. And with this, we are pretty much done. <laughs> And this direct custom is finally complete. And as always, the metallic Gundam markers never fail to impress and steal the show. They always give custom Bakugan such a unique look. Like, Derek now looks amazing with his anime colors, and the fact that they are metallic ones is a plus. 
Something that is really awesome about these colors is that under different lightings they tend to give out different shades of themselves and it's amazing. In the case of Dark, all these colors give out vibes of being the scales of a dragon and I love it quite a lot. So yeah my friends, this has been the video, hope that you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to drop a like and leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'm posting videos every Monday and Friday. Thanks again for all the support and yup, it's been Paul and I'll see you in the next video.